After learning how to interpret a bar graph, let's learn how to draw a bar graph. Now, this topic that is drawing a bar graph has already been covered when we were discussing about you know the basics of bar graph. Anyways, I'm going to discuss uh, this topic again. So this is a part one of the video series on drawing a bar graph because uh, I want to discuss one very important point that I have always repeated in my every video on bar graph and that is to select the unit length that is a scale of any bar graph properly because it's really very important to select you know uh, the scale or the unit length properly it has several advantages so let's say that uh, you have to plot the any count or any number on the vertical line we know that we if in order to make a bar graph we use we should have two lines perpendicularly drawn to each other and we can draw uh, you know bar graph even horizontally or vertical so in my discussion i am assuming that all of a bar graph has to be uh, bar graphs have to be plotted on the horizontal line and the count or the number will be on the vertical line and let's say that on the vertical line, we have to plot these numbers, uh, the count or uh, I'm not, you know, focusing on the units or just focusing on the numbers. So let's say if it is something like two, then it is six, then 11, then 15, then 20. Okay. So let's say that you have these numbers and these numbers are supposed to be plotted on. I mean, you have decided to plot them on. Uh, vertical line and horizontal line just just forget it my focus is to tell you the importance of the scale or the unit length so if you look at this uh, at these numbers so if this is your two lines of your bar graph this one and this one okay so if these are the perpendicular lines that uh, uh, on which we'll draw a bar graph. If this is 2, then 6, then 11, then 15, then 20. So what should be your unit length? Can I, uh, should I draw it like this? That is 5, then 10, then 15, then 20 and so on, 25 and so on. Do you think that I should draw it like this? Well, the answer is no. Why? Because if you can see here, we have we have uh, two here, then six here, then eleven here. Fifteen and twenty can be adjusted here, but what about two, six, and eleven? How you are going to plot that? So in order to avoid you know any such case where some numbers get left because of the wrong scale or unit length that has been chosen, it's very important to choose. You know, the important scale. So what should be the scale here? Well, the scale should be the scale should be it should be 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and so on that is if this is the zero then you have one then you have two then you have three now the scale or the unit length in this case is always what one right two minus one is one three minus two is one four minus three is one so each unit length has what is of what number it is of one number i'm not focusing about unit it can be any meter centimeter whatever i mean just focus on the numbers so a scale would be of one unit length. Each unit length will be of, you know, of one. So then we can plot two here. So you can see that two can come here, then six can come here, then 11 come, come here, then 15 and then 20 and so on. Okay, let's take another example. Let me remove all this. So, Let's suppose that again we have, I'm just going to draw this line, sorry. 
to perpendicular lines. Let's suppose we have to draw, uh, plot these numbers. Uh, numbers are like 10 and 15 and 20 and 30 and so on. So in this case, if you look at these numbers, then you can quickly think of the scale as, uh, as what? Of unit length what? Of five. So if I plot, if we think it of as zero. Sorry, I'm having my tea along with this video tutorial. So, if this is zero, then this is five, this is 10, this is 15, this is 20, this is 25, this is 30, and so on. So, each scale, the scale is of or the unit length is of what? Of 5. I'm not talking about uh, units here, just the number. So 0, then 5, then 10, then 15, then 20, then 25, then 30. Now, 10 can come here, 15 can come here, 20 can come here, and 30 can come here, right? So while in the previous case, or a scale or the unit length was of 1. In this case, the scale or the unit length is of 5. Okay, so this is the importance of scale or the unit length. Let's take one more example. If I have to plot numbers like uh, what can be, it can be, let's say 50, then 150, then 250 then 300, 400, and 550. Okay, if you look at this, these numbers, and when you are deciding about the scale or the unit length, what should come in your mind? The thing that should come in your mind is that it's starting, it's actually starting at 50, right? So, and then it's 150, then 250, then 300, then 400, then 500, then 50. So, there is no way that you can start, you, your scale can be of 100. If you make your scale of 100, then here it will be 0, then 100, then 200, then 300, then 400, then 500. Then what about 150? What about 150, right? So, you can think of then, okay, should I plot it like 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4? No, yeah, it will take... A, Lot and lot. I mean, your, this vertical line will be, you know, then uh, you wouldn't won't be able to uh, plot the bar graph. That would be impossible. What about 10 and 20 and 30? That is scale should be of 10. So zero, then 10, then 20, then 30, then 40, then 50, then 60. No, 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 no. Again, it will take a lot of time. What about zero, then 20, then 40, then 60, then 80? No, no, no. Yes, we can do what? We can do 50. If zero, then 50 will come here then 100 will come here, then 150 will come here, then 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, and 550. Now, we can plot these symbols. 50 can come here, 150 will come here, 250 will come here, 300 will come here, then 400 will come here, and 550 will come here. Right? So the scale or the unit length in this case is what? Is of 50. 50 minus 0 is 50, 100 minus 50 is 50, 150 minus 100 is, is what? Again 50. So each scale and unit length is of 50. Let's take some other examples. So if we have to plot these numbers, like uh, this is 100, then 400, then 700, then 900. OK, in this case, and let's take, let's take 100. 
1100. So if we have to plot this, these numbers, what should be our scale? Now, you can clearly see that if we make our scale as what? Of 100. So 0, then 100, then 200, then 300, 400, and all the way we can go, right? Like this, 500, then 600, then 700, then 800, then 900, 1000, 1100. And that will be sufficient for our discussion. 100 will come here, 400 will be here, 700 will be here, 900 will be here, and 1100 will be here, right? So the scale or the unit length in this case will be what? The scale and the unit length will be what? Will be of 100. 200 minus 100 is 100, 300 minus 200 is 100, and so on. If we have to plot these numbers, like we have numbers like uh, 500, then 1500, then 2500, and then 3000, and so on, and 4000. Sorry, not 4000. Okay, yeah, 4000. Let's say make it 4000. So if we have to plot these numbers, what should be a scale? Now you can see that it's 500, then 1500, then 2500, then 3000, and then 4000. Should we make our scale as of, of 100? No. It will take, you know, it will take uh, this vertical line will be too long to plot those numbers on that particular vertical line. Then what? Can we make it 500? Yes, of course we can make it 500 and that will be very easy to plot. If it is zero, then 500 will be here. Then 1000 will be here. Then 1500 will be here. Then 2000 will be here. Then 2500 will be here. 3000, 3500, 4000 and 4500. Now you can clearly see that 500 is here, 1500 is here, 2500 is here, 3000 is here, and 4000 is here. So that's very really, very good scale, right? The our scale should be what? The scale should be of 500. Suppose we have to make, we have to plot these numbers. It's 1000, then it's 3000, then 5000, then 7000. In this case, clearly, our scale should be what? You can clearly say that, hey, in this case, it should be, again, it should be 1000. Can we make 100? No. In that case, our vertical line will be too long, right? We cannot make it of 100. Can we make of 500? No, we cannot make of 500. Because, yes, we can make, we, sorry, we can make of 500, but again, our, this vertical line uh, will be too long to plot that because 500 and 1000 and 1500 and 2000 and 2500 and 3000, there's no need of, right? We don't need any 500 or we don't need any 2500. All these numbers are what? Are the multiples of 1000, right? So our scale should be of 1000. We will we'll plot here, zero, then we'll have 1000 here, then we'll have 2000 here, then 3000 here, then 4000 here, and then 5000, 6000, 7000. So 1000 will be here, 3000 is here, 5000 is here, and 7000 is here. Okay. If we have to draw these numbers, if we have to draw numbers like um, what? If it is, let's say, a uh, hundred, then we have, or oh, let me take like this. If we have 500 and then 1000, but now we have 1100, 1300. What do you do in such case? If you have, suppose we, you have to plot this number, 
in that case in that case you can clearly see that it's 500 then we have 1000 can we can we take our scale as 500 no in that scenario 1100 or 1300 will be left and if we make 1000 then 500 will be left again these two numbers will be left so what should we do take our scale as of 100 make your scale of 100 100 so if you make our scale of 100 then 0 is here then 100 then 200 then 300 and all the way up to we can make like in this case it's 1300 but let's suppose that uh, 1100 comes here and 1200 and then 1300 let's suppose that you have draw plot you have plotted all those numbers here so after plotting the numbers having scale of 100 we reach up to here in that case we can cover 500 also we can cover 1000 also we can cover 1100 also and we can cover 1300 also so this is about you know this was about the importance of uh, selecting your scale um, in a proper way right so do watch the next video on drawing of bar graph in that will um, take some problems and will understand how to draw a bar graph.